Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am well behind on going through this box, which is a box of all the makeup that I have worn in the last couple of months. I am doing a thing this year where once I wear something, I put it into this box and then every so often I'm supposed to go through this box and declutter anything that I felt had either gone off or that I just didn't enjoy using quite as much as I used to enjoy it when I first bought it or whatever. But we are well overdue a going through of this box. It is bursting at the seams. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go through the box, see if there's anything that I'm going to declutter and yeah, let's get on into it. I'm going to be honest, I don't think there is all that much that I want to declutter. There's nothing kind of sticking out to me from the get-go. So let's just take things as they come. The first thing that I've got here is this Chanel quad in the shade Kinder It Experience. It's just a very neutral quad, really, really easy one. Took this on holiday, ideal size for traveling and neutrally easy to wear. So definitely keeping this one. I don't wear much eyeshadow anymore, but that's exactly the kind of shades that I would wear. Speaking of eyeshadow, my Morphe palette, I'm sure you guys, if you are not new to my channel, you know that I'm keeping this. I've actually already used this this year, it's already been in the box, and then I fished it out and used it again. Really good one to travel with because it's cardboard so it can't break. It's got that nice big mirror in it. Definitely keeping that one as well. Also keeping this, I'm sure this is no surprise, so this is finally in here after being rolled out of my project pan in last week's video. So I have hit a pan in this highlight and I'm now going to put it into storage and concentrate on some other products. Another highlight that I've used is this NARS one. I think I'll probably put this in a project pan at some point because it is a liquid and obviously powders last longer than liquids so this probably will go off at some point but having used it the other night I think it's still fine. I still enjoyed using it so I'm going to keep this as well and I actually used that in conjunction with this NARS blush. So this is the Orgasm Liquid Blush and again I probably should put this in some kind of project or something at some point to get some use out of it because liquids go off more quickly but it doesn't seem to have gone off. I still enjoy using it so I'm going to keep it. As I said I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I'm really not an eyeshadow person but I do wear a lot of lipstick so let's get into the multitude of lipsticks that are here. First of all I actually just got this for my birthday so I'm definitely not decluttering this. It's from Shantikai. It's the shade Salon. I will do a little swatch of that for you. It looks really dark in that swatch actually but it's a super easy to wear light glossy lip. Really easy to throw on. Really enjoy that. So I'm keeping that one. MAC Dangerous. Another absolute favourite that I definitely will be keeping. You probably don't need this if you've got like Lady Danger or whatever but I absolutely love this one. It's from the Retro Matte Formula. I already actually did a MAC lipstick declutter earlier this year so I know that most of the MAC ones are ones that I do want to keep and I swatched them all in that video so I won't waste your time by swatching. So I've got Chili and Marrakesh here. I'm keeping those two. I'm also keeping this from the Aladdin collection. This is Princess Incognito and I'm keeping this one from the Tempting Fate. In fact I've got two from the Tempting Fate collection here. So this is Tarnished Reputation and On a Petal Still. So I'm keeping those ones. I've got some Guerlain ones here. Got number 30 and number 1830. I don't think you can actually get either of these anymore. But I will swatch them for you nonetheless. If you have them in your collection, it might be a reminder to dig them out because they are beautiful. That is number 30, which I'm definitely, definitely keeping. As I say, I feel like I've had really successful makeup days recently so I don't think there's going to be that many declutters. This is 1830. Really really beautiful shades. You can, I feel like this is kind of like exactly the sort of shades that I gravitate towards. You can see what my taste is here. One last Guerlain one here so this is actually in its case which I'll need to put away and this is the shade 1925 so this is more of a classic red. This was actually in my 12 pans of Christmas last year. So really, really beautiful classic red shade. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely keeping that one. This is from a Dior Christmas collection a number of years ago and it's another classic red. It's the shade 006 Ardent Shock. Um, so let me swatch that. I was going to say if they're exactly the same maybe I'll get rid of one but it seems like it's alright. And I wore this the other night and I did really enjoy wearing it so I'm going to keep the two for now. 
thought I might have had one that I was getting rid of there but not to be. This is something that I'm getting rid of so I've actually already given the product away, I've given it to my friend but I put the box in here to remind me to put it into my declutter sheet and this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream so this is a moisturiser, it just broke me out, I think it was just a little bit too fragranced for me, felt really really nice, my skin just didn't enjoy it so I have passed it on but that is something that I have decluttered so that can go on the spreadsheet for quarter three declutters. At least we'll have one. Okay, I see another MAC lipstick here. Sin, really gorgeous deep shade. I am so ready for more of these shades. I'm so ready for autumn winter, for all the deep burgundies and berries. So really looking forward to getting to wear more of the likes of that. Uh, and I am indeed keeping that one. Definitely keeping Gingerbread Man from Too Faced. I absolutely love this shade. Adore this shade. I wore this a lot while I was on holiday. I find it's just one that really suits my colouring, works with my eyes, works with my hair. Really, really enjoy it and it doesn't move once it's on. I also don't find it too drying or anything like that, so definitely keeping that. Got a Chanel one here. Oh, number 59, Rouge Dust. Beautiful shade, definitely going nowhere. Swatch that for you. Again, the type of shade I'm so excited that we're getting into the season for. I've got another Chanel there. Alter Ego. This is one that I got last year. I think I actually spent Boots Points in this. Or did I get... I got one with Boots Points and I got one for my birthday. Um, between Alter Ego and Character. And this is Alter Ego. It's beautiful. I think it was a limited edition so I don't think you can get it anymore. And I am definitely keeping that one. There's another MAC one. So that is the MAC Viva Glam. This one I have kept in the box because it is in the limited edition packaging. It's glittery, it's beautiful. Kept that one in there and I am keeping that shade as well. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Really easy to wear nude, so let me swatch that for you. In fact, what I will do, let me just pull Princess Incognito from MAC back. Let's just look at the two of these next to each other. So that is Charlotte Tilbury. Oh no, they are quite different. I feel like to a non-makeup lo lover they will not look different, but I feel like if you're if you're into makeup they're definitely quite different and you could keep both. Um, which is right now what I am going to do. Gucci Lucy Dark Orange. Again, I think I have used this. It's been in the box and it's been taken back out and used again. This is quite similar, actually, to that Salon from Shantikai. Uh, quite similar in formula. Not the exact same kind of shade, but that same kind of glossy formula. I think probably the fact that I've loved the Gucci one as much as I have done. I don't know if you can see, but it is going quite far down the tube now. But the fact I've loved this one as much as I have, I think, is what made me interested in this formula. So that was why it went on the birthday list. Next up, I have got Colourpop lipstick. This is in the shade Hotline. A neutral one. It's more of a peachy nude than the other two. So I think I will keep that as well. I did say I didn't think there were going to be many declutters here. Um, now I've got three Lisa Eldridge lipsticks here and I'm not going to declutter any of them. So I have got Skyscraper Rose, Velvet Cinnabar and Velvet Jazz. I have got two videos dedicated to Lisa Eldridge lipsticks on my channel. So um, I will link them up in the eye if you want to go and check them out. In fact, I've got a whole playlist of lipstick specific videos because it is my favourite type of makeup. So again, I won't swatch them or waste your time. If you are interested, go and have a look at those videos, but I'm keeping those three. I will say, controversially, Skyscraper Rose, which is the pink one, I think possibly at some point this could be in the shopping block, but I think rather than considering it on its own against having been worn recently, which I enjoyed wearing it and there's nothing wrong with it, I think I'd like to look at all my pinks together as a colour grouping at the end of the year after weeding out any of the ones that have expired or anything through this exercise. So I will see what I'm sitting with at the end of the year. I do think this one might go at some point just because I'm not as keen on pink as I am on sort of ready brown tones in case you can't tell. Oh, speaking of pink, I have got the Huda Beauty here. This is the liquid lipstick in the shade Gossip Girl, which I'm going to be honest, I 100% bought for the name. And I wore this to go see the Barbie movie. It was the most sort of pink thing that I had. And that was the first time I'd worn it in quite a while. And if I'm honest, 
it made me kind of realise I had been holding on to this because I really liked the name. I loved the Gossip Girl TV show. That was 100% why I bought this. It's time I can let this go. So I'm going to declutter Huda Beauty Gossip Girl liquid lipstick. I do also have the matching lip liner. Let me swatch that. I think I could just let that go as well. I was going to say it might kind of tone in with other shades or whatever, but I just don't think I'm going to wear it very much. So I'm going to get rid of Gossip Girl lip liner as well. I've got a bunch of other lip liners here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but I've used them all. I didn't notice any issues with any of them. And I'm just going to keep them all and I won't bother swatching them. They all kind of tie in with these sort of shades. So if you're interested, it's uh, Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar Lip Liner. MAC Half Red. This is like one of my most used. Uh, Bobbi Brown Sangria. NYX Alabama. MAC Red. MAC Spice. MAC Brick. And Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is just Pill. Yeah, Pill Talk. So... I'm going to keep those ones. There are three eye products here and do you know what? I am going to get rid of all of these. As I said, I just really don't wear eyeshadow very much anymore and I think with what I do have in terms of my palettes and things, because there's certain palettes that I am just never going to get rid of. I think between my palettes and eyeliners, if I really wanted like a black smoky eye, I could probably create that without needing to hold on to these which makes me really sad because I loved these for a really long time. So these are the By Terry Ombre Black Stars. I actually did a video that was just crayon eyeshadow declutters and these made it through that. But then when I picked them back up again, I was like, when I look at these as individual products, they are beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them. The shades are lovely. But then also, I think I would gravitate towards a palette more anyway. They're really pretty. I think Lauren would like this one. So I think I'm going to pass that on to her. So that one is Ombre Mercure. Then this one is number 12, just black matte. And then I've also got a Maybelline eyeliner here. It's a smoky one. So it's like a black coal. It's lovely. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But I feel like I don't gravitate much towards doing a big smoky eye very often anymore. And I think for when I do gravitate towards it, I've got more than enough products left if I declutter these three to enable me to do that so I'm going to say goodbye to these. Oh that felt like quite a big moment because I'm very attached to these ombre black stars but I think it's time. Time to say goodbye. Yeah, I've got three blushes here. Bobbi Brown Uber Beige which is sort of completely nude cream blush which I'm going to keep. Urban Decay Indecent which again quite a like more of a peachy neutral but again quite a neutral blush which I'm going to keep and then the Dolce & Gabbana Solar Glow in the shade number two Peach Blossom. This is gorgeous. This is so pigmented though. I actually I used this for the first time when I used it and I was just not prepared for how insanely pigmented that blush was going to be when I used it so I never feel like blush swatches very well on the hand or anything but I promise with a brush, this is so, so pigmented, it's so beautiful. I definitely, definitely am keeping this one. I mean, look at that packaging. I have a real, real soft spot for Dolce & Gabbana. I have a lot of their shoes. It's these kind of patterns that always pull me back in. Have you seen the, uh, the Dolce & Gabbana light blue limited edition bottles for the summer? They're so pretty. That was, that was a tough one to be on a no buy when I was looking at them. They were, they were calling my name as everything from Dolce & Gabbana does. Uh, but yeah, keeping those three. I'll take the, the box out of the way. Quarter three decluttering, one moisturiser, two eyeshadows, one eyeliner, one liquid lipstick and one lip liner. So not the biggest declutter in the world, but you know what? Every little helps and that's another five things out of my makeup inventory and one thing out of my skincare inventory so we're going in the right direction thank you very much for watching it as i said i know there wasn't a lot to declutter this time i know it was quite quick but i hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless and i will see you in my next video bye